Hey everybody, this is Lance from datatraders.com here. This video I want to do a quick intro. This will be a few video series here. Uh, this is a quick intro on how to calculate how much your income you can make selling options per month. Could be based on different strategies. So a little bit more nuanced here because there's a lot of ways to try to figure out what your monthly income will be. One is trying to see any trades that are expiring at the end of this month relatively straightforward you could see how much your premium is and then if you're closing in at a certain percent of that premium or letting it expire worthless you just add that to your monthly total when you have other trades that are further out in time however like if you have stuff in november that's going out to january february it's going to be a lot harder to predict that monthly income so i'm going to show you a few general guidelines on what to look for in this first video and then we'll deep dive it a little bit more in future videos so definitely check out the channel and click that bell notification so you'll see when the next video in the series gets on let's go right to it all right so i did do a blog post based on this video i'm going to read some of the summary of it and then elaborate a little bit uh, there's a link to this blog in the description down below this video so I think one of the most important factors is the strategies you're using, implementing your strategies, being mechanical and how you're managing them. However, uh, it's hard to know exactly how much income you actually bring from those strategies, right? So you wanna think about the monthly income as a secondary goal. Obviously you wanna be placing your trades based on your trading plan, how you're managing them. Sometimes it will reach the goal based on the month that you have and other times it might take longer. So for instance, if you're trying to get out of a trade of 50% profit and it normally gets out of that same month, many times it may not necessarily happen that month and you don't have to wait until the next month in order to get there. So if you have a monthly income goal, one of the main things you can look for is your theta. So at Tasty Trade, you'll see your theta of your whole portfolio. And essentially whatever you have for your theta, you could multiply by 0.25 or divide by four and then that'll give you your daily theta. So let's say your portfolio theta is 100. Do 100 divided by 4. We can get about $25 per day in theta decay. Multiply that by about 30 days in the month. We can do 31 if you want for that month. And you'll be looking at about $750 for that month in just theta. That doesn't mean you're going to make that much in the month, however. Again, some of the trades might close out early. Some of them might take longer. Some of them might stop out. So that's just a rough guide based on what we're looking at. Based on this rough guide, if your theta number is too low, mine right now is too low. We're looking at around 103 last I checked. So I'm getting about the $25 a day. That's not enough theta decay to reach my goals. So then what things you do, some more options. You could sell some shorter dated, your theta will be a little bit higher then, go longer dated. You could also go higher delta, lower delta. There's a lot of different options here. So if you're interested, you can join on datatraders.com and I'll help you one-on-one -on -one with that. Um, you can also look at tracking approximate income for the month. So for November, and I did this in the end of October, I have five main strategies that I look at and the total profit would be 1564.25 if everything happens based on averages of when it actually expires. Now, with the market going up, it's been a really good November so far, and I already collected $1,031 in total premium from some of these trades. Obviously, they're not all of them yet, but well in advance of reaching this monthly goal, and I already hit my 2.2%. My goal is 2% a month every month. I'm already good for this month in November, as long as I don't stop out on anything, I already reached my goal. So going to be looking for ways to bump up into December at this point, and I might possibly close those out in November. So I'm going to be looking at 45, 60 days, even 70 something days out, knowing that most of them will most likely close in December. There's a few that might end up closing in November and then still be okay in bumping either a November goal up or the December goal up. So this is what I have currently right now, and it's November 5th, looking out to December. We're already at $1,095 if I add a 112 trade, which I'm planning on doing. I was below that $1,000 goal, which is my 2% a month without this trade. And then I know I have the buying power for it. 
I know I'm able to take a trade when gold's at a good situation right now. So I'll be adding the 112 in a 30, sorry, 81 DTE. There's a very good chance it's going to be closing before around 60 DTE, which would end up being part of the December goal. And that would reach my 1095. So how are these income returns actually calculated? I'm going to do that in a future video. And uh, if you're interested in talking one-on-one -on -one about it before you see the next part, you can go to thetatraders.com and then understand the things that I look for in terms of when the trades actually expire.